Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Um, so, I've done a lot of things. <laughs> um, basically what happened was, the last two sets I recorded in tandem with each other. I basically recorded one right after the other, or maybe a day or two afterwards. I can't remember exactly. Since then, I've had about two weeks to just grind. Now, I didn't grind EXP as much as I probably should have or stuff like that, but I did get um, all the Chocobo stuff done, pretty much. I um, got more magic for Queena. I got um, more gear. I have a lot of stuff, basically. So, I'm going to go through what I've gotten done, pretty much, and then we're going to continue you know, with this set. Uh, this set's going to be dedicated to doing um, two side quests, hopefully. Depending on how long one of them takes. First and foremost is Zidane. Oop. I got pretty much everything for him. This is pretty much how it is with everyone. Everyone's missing like one or two abilities. And those are only abilities we can get from uh, the highest of highest weaponry. Which I don't have. <laughs> and I can't get until disc four, sadly. But for the most part, I got it all, which is awesome. Um also, I want to say, I have Vivi, Dagger, and Eco's ultimate weapons, uh, for the most part. They're all really high level stuff. Um, what else did I do? Leveled up. I did. I got 98 frogs. And we're about to get the 99th. That's why we're here. Um, I can't remember anything else I did really. All I did really was the Chocobo side quests. I got uh, all the Chocobo graphs. I'll, um. As many of the Dead Pepper locations as I can get, I unlocked the Golden Chocobo. And yeah, yeah. Pretty much it. I also got all of the... Uh, all these. The, um, what are they called? Dang it. Still has their coins. So yeah, it took, it took a while to get all this stuff, but I got it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to get the 99th Frog, which will give us a battle to get Queen's ultimate weapon. Now, we're a bit underleveled for the fight, but I did stack my characters in a way that should make it easier. Um, I gave Zidane an ability that absorbs water damage and halves other elemental damages, which is great. I'm also going to equip. Where is it? Black Hood. To further reduce uh, fire, thunder, and water damage. Ribbon absorbs water damage, which I need. Um, and everyone else has that same stats effect. 50% um, damage decrease from elementals on two things. So it should theoretically negate those abilities. Um, also got multiple ro robes of lords from doing the uh, trigger book uh, stuff. Um, what else did I do? That's pretty much it for that. I also equipped everyone with uh, stats ailment protections. All across the board, and gave the gave Zidane Man Eater. We're gonna be fighting a humanoid character, which so we need this. Okay, well, let's go do this. So yeah, this fight's probably gonna not go well because the boss is level 75, and all we need to do is capture one more frog. But I do have a strategy for beating it. Hey, Quan, or not Quan, Quail. Queena. Just a little bit. All we need to do is catch one. Come on. Ah! Gotcha! You working hard, Queena? Now the time, Queena. You're on your own now. You train to become ultimate gourmet alone. Master Quail. Before you go, you take final test. Okay, so we're fighting Quail. Like I said, level 75. I technically should be doing this during uh, the next, next disc. Okay, so let's go through the basic information like I usually do with bosses. Okay. Whew, this should be fun. I should make this bigger so I can read it all. Okay. 
So Quail has 65,535 HP, 3,680 MP, 76 is its level. You always drop an elixir. You can steal an elixir, uncommonly steal ninja gear, semi-rare is gluten, uh, glutton's robe, and rare is a robe of lords, which we kind of want. Uh, it is human type, weak to lightning, absorbs water, and is vulnerable only to slow. Now here's what we need to do to be able to beat him. We're going to slow him with Vivi and have Queena just continually use magic. Uh, Quail loves to use Water Breath, which is why I have the Water Negate abilities as well as other elemental protections. Um, sorry, my computer might be acting up a second. All right, that was cool. <laughs> okay, so, um, Quail likes to use magic, which is why we want Queen to use magic hammer, which will take away magic points. Um, not sure how much it will take away, but it should be good. The only other attack uh, we have to worry about is an attack called rolling, at, rolling attack or something like that, which will uh, be a physical attack. Other than that, Quail mostly uses um, magic. Let's go. Everyone should be virtually immune to that attack. We're slow. There it is. A magic Kyurga. Magic camera. Basically, my goal is to keep everyone on HP up with Kyurga. Zidane's going to be stealing a lot. Vivi's going to keep this person slowed. Glenn's rope, cool. I'm gonna keep stealing until I get Robo Lords. That's all I want. Alright. Like I said, he, he likes to use magic. How much? Well, Alright, that's ah, gonna take a bit of time. How much MP did I say this guy had? 36, so about 35 attacks to do it. Pro about, probably less. Alright, where's the magic hammer? There it is. I have half MP on everyone as well. We're below, it's okay, cool. I don't have to worry about it anymore. They're slow, they're slow. All it was that slow. It was lightning that's weak against Sorama. 74, not bad. Or 700, not bad. Come on, slow. Miss. Dang it. Alright, she's gonna be the base attack. It's good to know. Slow. 3,000, not bad, not bad. Silence. Oh, you piece of garbage. Look, they have loud mouth, so I'll protect against that. That's our HP still good. 3,000. We're doing pretty good damage. We're doing pretty good damage. Nine thousand nine hundred, good, good, good. Which means we have about two thousand off already. No, about about one thousand five hundred, maybe. Yes, dang it. Now, judgment bolt. Small one. Now we're doing good damage still. Line, protect against that. Oh, not protect against that. Crap. Uh, do I have anything to fix that? No. 
Look at this magic magic attack. That's a thousand. So it, she could be a uh, uh, quail could be out of uh, magic now. Slow, beautiful. Just look at damage attack. I'm curious what this does. All right, we'll try our magic hammer. And after that, we'll start casting all life on everyone. All right, so it's still uh, kicking. Guard, beautiful. Focus, BB. Cool attack. Not good. No, we're no, we're good. I don't need to worry about that attack. Okay, about that ability. HP still good. Four nine. So I think Quill's now out of magic. Like completely. Yep, out of magic. Beautiful. Oh, we got a boosted. Oh, hey, Rama, buddy. Daga. Yeah, boy. How much? How much? Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Rama. Boop. All right. FMP, I'm loving that, that that notification. Just don't get ahead and get that. Oh, 6K, beautiful. Oh, my dagger. Fortunately, auto life um, isn't a status element that just disappears over time. It's it's permanent once it's spelled or cast. Oh, that was, that was horrid. Dagger. All right, now it's just battle of attrition. Who goes first? <laughs> this is so brutal. I love it. All right, slash. Ouch, that hurt. Like I said, the only thing Quail can do now is just physical attacks. Which is pretty much most of, uh, it's like, one of his uh, only attacks now. He can't really do, he can't do anything else. Everything else is magic. Alright. With this, everyone will have auto life, which means Queena can attack now. Dagger is White Mage now. Not FMP. <laughs> Rama. Attack. Now we're just being mean. Oh. Good thing I just cast all life on her. Hi. Oh, it's the boosted one, too. Oh, brutal. Keep that all life up, though. Six thousand? Beautiful. We should be getting close to Quail's death, which is great. The there we go! We win! Oh, that was actually kind of intense. Look at that EXP. Alright, so if I were to have soloed Queena or Quail, I would have gotten 65,535 EXP. Instead, each party member gets 16,383, uh, 16, which is still obscene. 
What's also great is we were able to get that robe of lords, which means I now have three of the best mage armors in the game for my three mages. Beautiful. I have no more to teach you. I give you this. Gastro fork. Thank you, Master Quill. I train you. I train more. Okay, so. Let me equip this real quickly, because this is Queen's best fork in the game. By far. Okay. Now I'm going to explain something about Queena. Normally, you would think, now that it's done, we don't have to worry about using uh, Queena or getting the frogs. However, Queena is the most powerful character in the game. Because of this. Amount of damage depends on the number of frogs you've caught. If you can get enough... You can get this attack just to do continual 9,999, no matter the defense. So, you have a guaranteed max damage attack if you catch enough frogs. Of course, you gotta figure out how many that is. Alright, let's... There we go. I'm happy about that, though. Enough? I don't get you. I'm not going to do that because I don't really need it, but it is still a good thing to have. Alright. I do want to see what Gastro Fork looks like, though. I haven't seen it in ages. So let's get into a battle right quick. Oh, there it is. That's where my ship was. All right, here we go. It's a cactuar. The magic. We're playing against that, so we're good. Where is Logger Breath? That's a brutal looking fork. Oh, healed it. All right, Thundaga. It appeared. Of course, when the water was his weak point. Secret. Attack. So we now have three, four ultimate weapons. We have a lot of ultimate weapons. Awesome. That makes me happy. Okay. The next thing we're going to do... Oh. I'm trying to get to Chocobo, gra uh, Chocobo Tracks. Next thing we're going to do is going to find the uh, Chocobo uh, Paradise. Which is only available during when you have the uh, Gold Chocobo. Now, I'm not going to actually show it. Because I'm actually going to be saving that for the end of the uh, Choco Graphs. I'm just showing you where it's at now. For those of you who uh, want it. Because this is the point in the game where you can't actually go to it. But there is a side quest involved with... Uh, the Chocobo Forest, or Chocobo Paradise, that uh, you can't complete until uh, Disc 4. You get a special ability that restores your HP whenever you visit a beach. Not that fine. And it will also count towards a uh, trophy, which is to find every beach in the game. Alright, it should be up here. There it is. Actually, no, I will go to it through it. But I'm going to save first. And I'll save a file so I can show this off in the video. Uh, 
Um, so glad I just saved. Did I save? Oh crap, I didn't, did I? I was gonna do it again. No! So, one thing happened is uh, the Moogle is running towards me from the crack and is stuck on the other side of the crack. So, I'm frozen. And that's gonna be it for today's set. I apologize for this, but here's where it's at. Um, <laughs> that's annoying. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, have a great day. Bye bye.